morning everybody and welcome to day eight of Super Happy Fun Time Japan Adventure. I'm gonna let the train go past, hold on. They're kinda long here. Still going, still going, still going. Okay, there we go. So what we're doing today is we're actually going to go and make cookies. Um, if you know, or have been watching for the last, well, couple months since January, um, I've been doing a new cookie every week, um, since January. So, we found someone very lovely, her name is Yoshimi, who is going to teach me how to bake cookies in Japan, so that I can keep up with my cookie challenge. So, that's what we're doing today, and afterwards we're going to do some, maybe some temple stuff. We'll see. It stopped raining, but we'll see. Okay, are you ready? Time for cookie. Okay, everybody, let's get baking. First, we had to weigh out our materials. I did say weigh, not measure, which is something different um, in Asian baking to North American baking. Then we put the cookie dough on a piece of plastic wrap, and <laughs> Yoshimi laughed at me, and then she showed me the super, se super technique for making square cookies. Then it was time to move on to our next cookie, the snowballs. Um, that ingredient that I was pouring in, that powder, was actually soybean, and oh my god, is it yummy. So again, more mixing by hand. You have to be very gentle. And then we hand rolled. Now these guys are a little bit powdery, so um, it was kind of interesting how delicate they are. So then after rolling the dough, we did roll it into a log. I don't know if any of you know what Lush is or comforter, but I used my comforter making techniques to make this cookie. Look how awesome that is. We also used the rest of the dough to make little squares. So cute. Then it came time to actually put the powdered sugar onto the snowball, so we just put it into a plastic bag and gave it a really gentle roll. Now look at those cookies. So, we were gonna go do the tourist thing after making cookies and go see a giant Buddha, and then it started to do this. So instead, we're gonna take a couple food items off of our list. Come enjoy some food with us, I guess. Okay, everybody, our food adventure failed, and so we're at the movies. We're at the movies. We're gonna see Attack on Titan Part 1, which is not in North America. So, I can't show you any clips. <laughs> but maybe we'll get some photos of some things after we're done. Bye. Okay, so it finally happened. We finally made it to food. We can merit being all bashful because I put the camera on him. Um, <laughs> what are we eating for dinner? Steph's. Nice. I'll take a couple photos and show you guys, but we are at an authentic place that does special things with rice. So we'll see how the rice is. Dinner was a success. Here's our appetizer. I don't even know what it was. And then we had a sashimi duo with squid and tuna. And then drum roll, drrr, tempura. We had a failed tempura experience this week, so this stuff was super yummy. And here's the rice that took 30 minutes to cook in an earthenware jar. Okay, friends and family, that is it for the night. Um, it's interesting being such a rainy day. Um, you can hear that I'm slightly stuffed up. Go figure. But I would just like to say that Japan is pretty awesome because in the middle of this chaos, while I do a turn, 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 is this beautiful little shrine. And yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you. We had good food, we watched a movie, Merritt's opinionated about it, ask him if you want. Um, <laughs> um, and good night.